I'm gonna show you how to beat the council chamber in Remnant 2. So that's this area right here. It's the second of multiple areas in this region. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by going um, counterclockwise around in the circle that I have discovered here. You obviously won't have it discovered, but this is the way you're gonna wanna go. So you'll just face a bunch of those quick melee enemies, some of the archers, and then also you'll run into uh, uh, various mini bosses that are random each time. A lot of the groupings of enemies are just random. That's kind of how it works in this game in general. But yeah, you're just going to clear out this. And then around this corner, there should be another one. And then also, I already got it, but over in that corner was some iron. And we're going to head into here. So these guys, when they go up, you kind of wait for them to draw a shot, and then it's easier to land the headshot. They stand still for a second. When they start to draw their bow, if you spam their head, they'll generally just um, stagger. Also, these enemy positions are going to be totally different depending on the speed at which you come in. I just keep on hitting circle instead of X. Um, depending on the speed in which you enter this place, like I was waiting to record for a minute. So it just changed all the positions of all the enemies because they're all roaming around. But if you just rush in immediately, they'll be in roughly the same positions every time. I'm gonna heal up real fast. Uh, so you might want to clear the right and then also clear the left to make sure you don't get swarmed if you get into a fight up here. So there's a lot of times there's a guy to the left there, but like I said, every time you load in this area, it kind of changes a bunch of the spawns and things. And just every time you die, it'll change a bunch of stuff. All right, so right here is the first chance for a mini boss somewhere around here. Yep, here we go. So for this guy... He's gonna throw ranged attacks at us. Every time he comes out of invisibility, he tries to attack with something. I jumped... I went too early. I went too early again. And we're too late. Alright, there we go. If you can get with melees, it'll do a lot of damage to him, at least with my class. If you shoot him immediately, sometimes he'll kind of stagger a little bit. So I did that terribly, but, you know. It is what it is. That's over. So yeah, it'll either be that or it'll be the the big fatty. I don't know what to call, what to call him. The big thick guy. The big thick guy. If we run into those, you'll see how to fight him too, even though it didn't really show a very good job how to fight that. These guys, if you sneak up behind them, you can just beat on them. They have armor, so there's no weak spot anyway. Now this next room is going to be obnoxious. Oh, before this next room. Um, there's a secret room over here. I'm not going to show you it because I'm not ready to fight the boss yet because you have to fight a boss in a cramped little space and I'm just not ready for that. Uh, but right over here there'll be a painting and you just got to attack it and blow it up. That's right here on the map. And it'll lead down into that region. You can kind of see it there. And loop all the way back around and then I, I assume you'll get back out on these other rooms on the other side of the room. But yeah, you go down there and... Um, yeah, do, yeah, see how it connects. Yeah, so it does come back around. But anyway, you go down there, and right where that starts to turn red over there, on the left right there, um, there's a boss over there. And you just fight him in that little tiny room, and he has lightning damage, which is a giant AoE. So, I'm not, I don't know. I'll probably deal with him some other time, and then make a video specifically for him. But if you want 100% of this area, then that's what you gotta do. You gotta go over into there also, on top of everything else I'm showing you. And this is basically 100% guide, even though I'm not showing you exactly what to do there. It's pretty straightforward, though fight a boss who's extremely difficult in order to do that part. That's also how you get to the secret room. That is that that is the secret room. Okay, I don't know how to just put that. So this room's just gonna be like an onslaught. Like they just keep coming from this room for a while, so 
it's often best to just hang out and let them come to you. I hear the big guy. There he is. This guy's two attacks. If he charges at you, up. Oh, your best just trying to dodge it. Gotta be careful of a counter like that. He'll just want to counter you like that if you try to beat on for too long. Also, the timing of his attacks are a little weird. He like waits a second between his attacks. Also, he'll do that one, so watch out for that. But he'll try to like he'll do a wind up on every single attack, and that wind up makes it so um, you have to wait before you dodge. If you spam dodge, he'll hit you with every single attack. So if you get hit, you have to just wait and then go for the next dodge. This is a heal, obviously. Uh, I guess I don't need to use it. Now, there's also a room on the left here. It all loops back around. It's a big circle right through here. So you can go around whichever way you want. Make sure I clear them all. That takes care of a bunch of them. Alright, so now we're almost done with this room. <sighs> okay. So, yeah, that room was just a uh, slugfest, basically. Now, there's a chest over here. I already got it. That fire will damage you if you stand in it. This room has another mini boss in it. If you hear him chasing you, you have to dodge him, by the way, which I said before, but I just wanted to say it again. Like that. I just don't want to go left instead. That was rough. Oh, uh, there's a bunch of iron stuff in here. Like, for example, right there was some iron. I already grabbed it. But you'll see it all over the place when you're in here. This whole area loops back around. You see where I'm going? It's all just a loop. So I'm just going to go this way. It's all the same thing. Also, look back down in here. I don't know if I looted at all. I guess I did. Okay. Then you're going to head over this way. I'm make sure there's no one else on the left. I think that door is purely decorative. It doesn't even give you a UI when you look at it, so. Come on. Oh, that was a close one. I'm gonna reload my main gun real fast. Okay, I'm not reloading. I want to reload it here in a sec. Also, there's a chest right here, by the way, which I already grabbed over on the right. There should be a mini boss here. Or maybe not. I don't know if he always spawns. Maybe he doesn't always spawn. There was a mini boss here the first time I came through, so be wary. Yeah, I guess he doesn't always spawn. Alright, so now we're at this region. Um, if we go up to here, there's another healing thing. Which I can't remember if this restores the um, dragon's hearts. Is that what they're called? The flasks, basically, if you're playing Dark Souls. I need to remind myself real fast. No, they don't. They just heal you and they get rid of poison. Alright, this is really awkward. 
Um, okay, we're just going to wait a sec for that guy. I don't know if he's ever going to stop, actually. But if you just, like, beat on this guy, he literally can't defend himself. Yeah. So that was the mini-boss. So there was one. He was just way back this time. Not mini-boss, but... I don't know. What to, they're not really mini-bosses, but... Relative to everything else in the area, they are. Alright, so now you're going to come through here. Uh, I don't recall there being any, any any enemies in there. I think there was iron over there. I don't remember if that's true or not. Thought there was, but maybe not. And then you're going to come through here. And here is the portal to the next region. Over here, there's this door I've already opened, but you can unlock it. Then you can come back here quickly from the fast travel. Or to come back over here. And there's also that big circle area right there, the council chamber. I'll show you that real fast. In case you didn't look at it yourself. So over here is the council chamber. There's some kind of quest or something to give you. It's really, I mean, I'm not, I'm not into it personally, but if you are, that's cool. But it was this ridiculously long dialogue about an imposter and all this stuff. Um, but I didn't actually try to go run around behind them. I'm actually curious what happens if I try to go around behind them. I'm sure this door is probably locked. But yeah, you can go stand on the podium in the middle and then talk to them. Okay, so there's, there's more back here. I, I assume that you have to do their quest, though, to get back there. So if that is necessary for 100%ing this area, then, yeah, you're going to have to listen to what they had to say and then try to figure it out and then do whatever they said. Something about finding an imposter person who killed the one true king and among us. I don't know, something like that. But anyway, there's um, the fast travel again. So now we're going to go back where we just came from, which is going um, clockwise around this area. And then back up to here, and there's this portal here. But you got to be careful when you come through the portal, because even though it leads to the next area, uh, we're not quite done yet, because before you can even activate the next fast travel, it'll actually start off in a fight. Or at least it did for me. So I don't know if it always does. Uh, but when I came through here, it said I was in combat. Yeah, so it does. And there'll be enemies on your right. So don't accidentally die to these guys, because that would be really annoying. I like, even through all that and then just die to those guys and then start all over. But then you have the shortcut unlocked at this point anyway, so it's not a too big of a deal. Uh, but then after all that, you'll activate this, and then you'll be in the Council Tribunal, which I'll cover in a different walkthrough. Uh, if I remember to update the description, I'll put that in the description of this video along with other helpful Remnant 2 videos. But there you guys go. Hopefully it helped you out. Now you know how to 100% the Council Chamber in Remnant 2.